So now that we're done doing the worksheets and we have a decent idea of how to document uh, patient care, both for uh, compliance as well as for use in uh, as evidence in clinical decision making, we're now going to apply this in your actual patient population. So we have two uh, parallel assignments with uh, differing due dates associated with that, and they are uh, titled the pseudonym patient one and two. So I'm gonna talk about them together because the assignments are the same, but you're going to be selecting two different patients that you are currently working with to do documentation, and you will need to see them at least three, uh, more appropriately four times, one for uh, the examination, three for daily visit notes, and then possibly a fifth re-examination. You can combine the examination and daily visit note one, as well as the re-examination and daily visit note three, if absolutely necessary, but five is best. So for this first component, we're going to talk about the initial uh, note and then the patient rated outcome measures. Chapters or uh, Appendix A and Appendix B will be helpful. We're going to follow the format in Appendix B for writing this. So Appendix B will be your uh, guidebook for this with the different subsections associated with that. We need all of those different subsections as applicable with that. But then you're also going to be selecting a patient rated outcome measure. So this is some form of basically survey, right? We've talked about these before, but some survey that the patient will fill out at the beginning and then fill out again at the end, and you will be uploading those copies associated with that. So like I said, select a patient that you're actively providing care for with that. You, for the initial note assignment, right, you need to include all of these categories and then the subcategories found in Appendix A or B as applicable in each of these components. So you need to write out a complete initial visit note for two different patients. And the pseudonym aspect in there, you know, just make up um, their name, right? Opposed to trying to blind it, just make up their name uh, and any demographics you can alter so that the patient is not readily identifiable. And then for the patient rated outcome measures, all you need to do is you need to select at least three of these. If you need help identifying those, really Google is your best bet, but I can help you with that as well. And you're simply going to ask them to complete it and then document um, why you chose the uh, measures you did. And so those are uh, four separate assignments that you will be doing. Patient note or initial note one for both patient number one and number two, and then prom for one and two. So each of those four have uh, different due dates with that, and you will upload each of those separately. If you have questions, please let me know.